Nick and Nick in the backyard Grand Prix. Here comes the jump. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> but what's this up ahead? It's a traffic jam. Honk honk. Huh? What's the rush? We're racing here, but we're on a road trip. Uh, on our racetrack? You're right, Kobe. I guess it's not the best place for a road trip. A road trip sounds fun, though. Yeah! Maybe we can go on one together. Let's go! Yeah! Road trip adventure! Did someone say adventure? Go, Ziggy! Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. Sing this song. Wait up! Oh, oh, yay! Road trip! All aboard the Eddie Express! Going somewhere exciting? Hmm? We sure are. We're going to. Um, where are we going again? Um, beats me, but I'm driving there. Have you ever been to the Bouncy Beach? The Bouncy Beach? That place sounds jumping. Bouncy Beach it is! Let's go! <laughs> this is gonna be awesome! <laughs> <clears throat> the bouncy beach is quite easy to find. Just to head down go. this road yeah. and take the first left. <laughs> Got that? <laughs> hmm? Left. Don't turn right. Hooray. Then go over the bridge go. to the end of the road. Bouncy until beach. you see Bouncy <gasps> Beach. This is gonna be fun! Got that? Got it. Next stop, Bouncy Beach. Yeah. All right! <laughs> Remember, take the first left. Um, which way now? What did the peacock say? Hey, don't look at me. I thought you were listening. Well, I was busy. Did anyone hear the directions? Not me. Uh-uh. Nope. <sighs> hey, I've got an idea. Road trip, road trip, let us know. Which way should we choose to go? This way, to the right. Okay, ready, Eddie, go! Yeah! <laughs> Are you sure this is the right road? I'm not even sure this is a road. Bouncy Beach must be around here somewhere. Can you see through all the dust? Not really. So we're not only lost, we can't even see where we're lost. But I want to bounce. Hey, look! A car wash! <laughs> Hello. Hey, can you please clean our camper van? <laughs> Let's see. One cup is a quick clean, two cups for a medium clean, and three cups are the full monkey. <gasps> the, the full, full monkey! monkey! <laughs> I love monkeys! Thanks, monkey. You're funny. <laughs> Eddie, you didn't follow the instructions. You were only supposed to pour in three cups of soap. Oh. 
Right. We're going to follow directions. OK, turn right. Now turn left. Can anyone see the bubble? Not me. Uh-uh. Nope. <sighs> um, hi, Mr. Giraffe. Did you see our friend float past? She's the one in a bubble. You did? Which way did she go? So we go right, then straight ahead. Thanks, Mr. Giraffe. Look! A fork in the road! Hi, Mr. Sloth. Have you seen a girl floating around here anywhere? Oh, yeah. <sighs> I think she went towards Bouncy Beach. You go right, then over the bridge, and keep going to the end of the road. Everyone get that? Yes! Okay, thanks, Mr. Sloth. <laughs> over the bridge and keep going to the end of the road. It's Bouncy Feet. Oh, yeah. Cool. It's beautiful. Bubble too. Did you see that? The bubble came down a little bit with Mia inside. I know what to do. Listen, we all need to bounce up to the bubble and get inside it. Then our weight will pull it down. Got it. You bet. Um, how are we going to get out? Hmm. Easy. Yay! 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 Good going, Sophie! <laughs> there you go, Lucky. Um, Mia, what are you doing? I'm feeding Lucky. Feeding Lucky? Yep. There's enough food here for a herd of elephants. Didn't you look at the instructions? Well, of course I did. And what did they say? 
How should I know? I don't know how to read. Here, I'll help you. Thanks, Sophie. And hmm. <laughs> uh, now, coming to you from our own backyard stage, which landed here from outer space. Okay, not really, but it's fun to pretend. Welcome to the big show! With your hosts, Eddie and Sophie! Thank you! Thank, Thank you. you! You guys are a great audience! Let's hear it for Ziggy Wigglebottom and the Wigglebottom Band! Awesome music, Kobe! I'm not Kobe, I'm Ziggy. Uh, I mean... I'm Ziggy, and Ziggy Digga Doo means back to you. Thanks, Zig. We have a great show for you today. Adventure, songs, jokes, and... Our first act, the Junk Jugglers. Here, Kobe. Whoops, hey, come back here. Uh, thank you, Junk Jugglers. <laughs> you should try to work together. We were supposed to work together, but then I got really busy and... Me too. I was, um, the same as Kobe. Uh, like they said. What would happen to our show if we didn't all work together? If we don't work like a team, there's no show. So, team, ready for our adventure? Uh-huh. Yeah. Guess so. We're entering a very special talent contest in the jungle. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. Sing this song. We sing this song. Sing this song. We sing this song. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And we're extra so excited. So here we go. Wait up! <laughs> oh my! What have we here? Visitors! Hmm? We're here to enter the talent contest. We really know how to put on a show. How cute! So, which one of you is talented, hmm? Well, we all kind of do different things. So you're the talented one? No, I mean, all of us are... Well, you look more talented than he does. Hey, wait a minute. Now, who looks more talented? <clears throat> On second thoughts, you look more talented than both of them. I do. Thank you. You know, I like to make up my own fairy tales. Then you should do that. And what should you do? Hmm? I like dancing. Maybe you're the talented one. I can dance and sing and everything else. Then let's enter you in the contest and see who's the most talented. Okay, I'm Eddie and ready to win. Eddie, who else wants to enter? Hmm? If Eddie's going to enter on his own, so am I. Sophie. My name's Sophie. Uh, Sophie, weren't we supposed to do this together? Mia, write me down. I'm gonna win. Tessa, can you believe... Tessa. T-E-S-S-A. When I dance, no one else has a chance. What about you? What's your name, hmm? Kobe, but... No, I... You'd better get rehearsing. Hey, you guys! Wait! 
<laughs> I do so love messing with out of towners. <sighs> hey, I'm um, Eddie. I'm ready to be great. I'm better than pancakes and pizza on a plate. I'm definitely going to win this contest. When I play, they'll shout, hooray! I'm the one who's going to win today. Got the Tessa moves, got the Tessa grooves. And when I move, it proves. I'm the winner, no beginner. Once upon a fairy tale, there was a superhero princess who won every contest. And she's going to win this contest, too. Attention, jungle! The talent contest will now begin! I'm ready to win! Oh, are you now? Well, you'll just have to wait your turn. First, the Elephantasia! Wow! Beautiful! I give them one star. And now, it's Birdapalooza. <laughs> fly, fly! They get two stars. Next, some monkey business. <laughs> Simply magical, three gold stars. They're pretty good. I don't even think I could beat them. I don't feel like dancing anymore. I'm not getting up there and telling a story by myself. Hey! Tessa, remember that time you felt bad because you fell into that mud puddle? We all jumped in with you, together. Mia, remember when you couldn't finish that super huge banana split? <laughs> we all ate it together. Eddie, it's like you said. If we don't work like a team, there's no show. You let that peacock make you work against each other. We came here as a team because we are a team. It doesn't matter if we win or lose. It's how we play the, the, the whatever we play together. Right, Kobe? We are a team. Yeah. Let's do what Kobe said. Really? Wow. And next we have an Eddie. Wait, there's been a change. A change? What kind of change? We're performing together. We're a team. Huh. Fine, go ahead. As if you have the talent to win. Where did they come from? We're the best friends you've ever seen. And we're part of a super team. Couldn't get any better. Well, we do, we do together. We sing, we swing, we salsa sing. Like a bell that chimes, we ring a ding. The best part of all, as you will see, is doing it together in harmony. Once upon a time, I was just me. Look at us, look at us go. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Doing these together sure is fun. And you know what? Everybody won. To show us what a little teamwork can do, they say they've been practicing together. Welcome back, the Junk Jugglers! The 
dragon's coming, and it's gonna eat me for lunch. Don't worry, Kobe. I'll save you. Achoo! Ha! It takes more than a fire-breathing, Kobe-eating dragon to scare away Princess Mia. Here I come. <laughs> What you doing? We're playing dragons, and it wants to eat me for lunch, <laughs> like in the book. Someone was reading the story? We're making it up from the pictures. We're not sure how to read. <laughs> but look, Sophie's reading. Well, I... Sophie, you know how to read? That's super cool. What happens next? Does Sir Ready Eddie save the day? Read it to us. Come on, Sophie. Oh, okay. Er, the dragon roar, roar. The dragon roared. Then what? Um, the dragon roared. A big, big roar. A huge roar. The biggest, hugest roar ever roared. Great. And then? And then the dragon jumped over the moon on a polka dot pogo stick. A polka dot pogo stick? What happens next? Next? Well, uh, the, um... I have an idea. Let's go on our own dragon adventure. With a castle? And a king? Oh, yeah. All that stuff. Yeah! Let's go! Great idea! Woohoo! And you can come along A special kind of adventure But first we sing this song We sing this song It's gonna be fun. Dragon! Here, dragon, dragon, dragon! Come and get your favorite lunch! A freshly baked Kobe cake. Hey! I thought you were a big, scary dragon. <sighs> Every time I go near my castle, he roars at me. We're looking for a dragon. Excellent. And when you find the dragon, you can scare him away. Wait, you want us to scare away the dragon? <clears throat> Just do what it says in this book. Everything you need to know about scaring dragons is right in here. While you're busy scaring away the dragon, I'll be hiding in this tree. I mean, um, keeping a royal lookout. <laughs> yes. Sophie, start reading. Yes. Please enjoy reading and scaring. <laughs> so what does the book say? Let me see. Yes, it says here that er, dragons are afraid of... Spiders! Dragons scared of spiders? Well, if you read it in the book, it must be true. It's dragon scaring time! <sighs> Here he comes!
Aye, it's a wee spider. Are you trying to scare me, wee spider? Because a spider isn't going to frighten a big, scary dragon like me! Rawr! Looks like dragon scaring time just turned into Eddie scaring time. <laughs> but the book said dragons were scared of spiders. Uh, well, sometimes a dragon isn't scared of spiders. The meanie McGreeny dragon is scared of, um, er, uh, running noses and, uh, achoo! Sneezing! Runny noses and sneezing? Since when has that been scary? Says it right here. Well, if you read it in the book, it must be true. I guess. <laughs> Kobe's super runny nose and sneezing powder. My own special mixture of pepper, feathers, and royal pig hair. Easy peasy, dragon sneezy. Okay, get ready to blow the powder. One, two, three. <gasps> <laughs> oh! Ah, that's better. Nothing like a good sneeze to clean the pipes. Ha 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 choo! A choo! Are you sure you're reading the right instructions? Oh rats! Look! Ah! Ah! <laughs> I really am going to be a Kobe cake! What do we do now, Sophie? Yeah! What does the book say? Rawr! Rawr! I don't know what the book says. I never did. I don't know how to read. Just a couple of words, but that's it. <sighs> Why'd you tell us you could? You were all so happy that I could read and I got carried away. And then I didn't want to let you down. I didn't mean to trick you. I'm sorry. You're not the only one who's sorry. <laughs> that coming. I didn't mean to scare you. I just wanted to protect King Pigalot's castle. But he keeps running away, squealing like a frightened pig. That's because dragons are really scary. All I wanted to do was to impress the king. And there's nothing impressive about giraffes. But look how tall you are. That's impressive. And I'm impressed with you, Lassie. Telling the truth to your friends like that made me realize it's better to tell the truth than to pretend to be something you're not. Help! Help! King Pigalon? Oh. <laughs> yes! Can someone help me, please? Hmm. I haven't read this anywhere, but I bet this is a job for a giraffe. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, thank you. I hereby name this giraffe the new King's Royal Reacher Upper to high places. Yay! <laughs> Go giraffe! Oh, my! Oh, and by the way, we got rid of that dragon for you. Actually, he did. You? Bravo! Let me tell you all about it. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Hey guys, want to hear a story? But you can't read. Not yet, but I'm learning. One day, I'm going to write my very own story. What's it going to be about? Well, that's what I was going to tell you. Once upon a time, there was a king in a faraway land who had a very good friend, a giraffe. <laughs> yeah! Ugh. That is the smallest apple ever. But it won't come down. I'm tired.
tired of waiting. Just, uh, getting warmed up. Boy, boy, boy! Gotcha! That's apple picking Tessa style! It's a crab apple. Kind of sour. It looks yummy to me. <laughs> Ew! Not yummy. Now I want a big, juicy apple more than ever. Hmm. Why don't we go where the biggest, most best, most delicious apples grow? Like where? Like a whole island of apples. Big apples. Yeah! Big Apple Island! Great! Let's go! All right! Oh, hey, Jack. Where are you guys going? We're going to find the biggest apples ever. Apples? Ew. What? What's wrong with apples? Don't you know about apples? I heard that one time there was this kid who found a worm in an apple. A worm? Ew! Yeah, gross, right? Well, see ya. Come on, Tessa. Let's go. Worms. Yuck. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. Quiet. And where did all the apple trees go? Looks like some of them were cut down to make this wall. But I wonder why. Look! There's an apple tree! Now those are big apples! Stop! Don't touch those apples! You don't want to make the angry apple angry. What's the angry apple? Oh, it's the biggest apple you've ever seen. And the other day, we think the angry apple ate our leader, Chief Beaver. <laughs> <laughs> That's silly. Apples don't eat people or beavers. Well, go ahead and laugh. But he's missing. And that's why we stopped eating apples and built this wall to keep the angry apple away. I don't know about any angry apples, but I know this one looks delicious. Ooh, it's, it's the, the angry, angry apple. apple. Scientific fact. There is no such thing as an angry apple. Yeah, apples aren't angry, they're yummy. Except the little sour ones. And the ones with the worms, yuck. I say we go find out what this angry apple really is. Yeah, let's show these beavers there's nothing to be scared of. Please take us to the angry apple. Yeah, we'll find your leader. I, uh, okay, but you'll regret it. But what if there is an angry apple? And there's a giant worm inside making it angry. And if there's one thing worse than an angry apple, it's a giant worm inside an angry apple. Tessa, you sound like these silly beavers. You're just imagining things. <laughs> oh, really? We'll see. Cool. Wow. 
They sure do look yummy. Yup, they do. But do not touch them. <gasps> Wait up! <sighs> Behold, the angry apple. Wow, that is one huge apple. But it doesn't look very angry to me. Uh, I'll just be over here. What in the name of fidgeting fruit is going on around here? Mm -mm. Tessa, aren't you coming with us? No, I don't like apples anymore. They have worms in them. Yuck! I don't want to find a worm in an apple. I don't even want to see an apple. If there was a worm in the apple, there'd be a hole where the worm crawled in. No holes here. You sure? There's only one way to find out. Be careful, Sophie. This apple isn't angry or hungry. You've got to see this. Don't worry. No worms. I promise. I was trying to push this apple home and got my tail stuck under it. Been here for days. You were making all that noise? Yup. Didn't think anyone heard me, though. Now, if you don't mind, please get this apple off my tail. Come on, everybody. One, two, three. Pah! <laughs> <laughs> Free! 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 You defeated the Angry Apple and saved our beaver chief. Angry Apple? What Angry Apple? We thought it gobbled you up. There was no Angry Apple. Good thing you came along. You weren't scared. Well, I was kind of scared. But my friend showed me it was only my imagination playing tricks on me. To show our thanks, we would like to share our specialty with you. Apple pie! Mmm, so good. Best apple pie ever. See, no angry apple. And no worms. So, I'll have another slice, please. <laughs> <laughs> Another amazing adventure of Super Ready! Whoa! Oh, save me! Save me! What brave person will come to my rescue? Don't worry! Super Ready is Super Ready! Some great big furry creature is trying to gobble me up! Where is this beast? Uh, under my stool. It's just a stuffed bunny rabbit. Nothing to be scared of. <laughs> there you are, Nibbles. I was looking for you. How did you get out of your cage? Were you guys afraid of a cute little hamster? Well, Not you really. See, um, time for a run on your hamster wheel. Phew. <laughs> <laughs> water. Water. <sighs> okay, Eddie. 
good boy. I've got some water for you. <laughs> Better? <sighs> yeah. Phew. So hot. It's like a billion degrees out here. Isn't it, Kobe? Uh, oh, yeah. I guess so. You guess so? What's the matter, Kobe? I just found out the worst thing ever. <gasps> what is it? You're allergic to all of us? There's a law against dancing? There's no more peanut butter on planet Earth? Worse than all of those. <sighs> What's worse? Tell us. Please. Come on. <sighs> I'm moving to a new house. Oh, no! But, Kobe! What about Ziggy and the band? And Lucky? And all of us! And all our adventures! Yeah! I've lived in that house and that room my whole life, since I was little. It's where I... where I live! <sighs> oh, Kobe, I'm sorry. This is the worst news ever. Hey! Why don't we do something that'll cheer us up? Yeah, like go on an adventure. We could go somewhere nice and cold, like Snow Globia. That sounds great, doesn't it, Kobe? <sighs> I guess so. Yeah, come on, Kobe. It'll be fun. Okay. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. Sing this song. That's okay. I don't feel like racing. <sighs> huh? Whee! Yeah! <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, uh, have you seen any trees around here? Uh, I don't think I... What do you want a tree for? I'm looking for a new place to live. Really? Why? My mom and dad brought home my new baby sister, and there's no way I'm sticking around with her there. Why not? Are you kidding? Ugh, all they talk about is new baby this and new baby that. And I was there first. But having a little sister might be fun. Think of all the cool stuff you could teach her. Think of all the noise she makes. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Look at my snowman. <laughs> Hey, guys, I'm just gonna take a little walk. Okay, see you, Kobe. Hurry back. Hey, wait up. I'm Kobe, by the way. Gabriel. So, don't you think your parents will miss you if you find somewhere else to live? They won't even notice I'm gone. <sighs> I just want things to go back to the way they were. I don't want things to change. <sighs> yeah, me neither. I mean, yeah. <clears throat> Whoa! Oops! Sorry! No worries! <clears throat> Delicious snowball! <laughs> Excuse me, do you know if there are any empty igloos around here? Mm, don't think so. Why? He's got a new baby sister, and he doesn't want to hang around. Oh! <laughs> I understand. I have a kid brother. You do? Yep, and he's my best little buddy ever. He is? Sure, but I didn't think so at first. But things change. Well, I don't want any change. Change isn't always easy. I wasn't too happy when my parents moved us all here from the warm jungle. You moved here? All the way from the jungle? 
Yeah, and I thought I would be miserable. But you know what? Snow is so fun! Who knew? At first it wasn't easy to leave my home behind. My parents said, don't worry, soon we think you'll find. Things can change, feel kind of strange. Sometimes it's just that way. But something new might tickle you and brighten up your day. Cha-cha, cha-cha, change. Change is the way. Hi, Herbie. That's my brother. Isn't he the cutest? Looks like he can be fun to have a sister or brother. And guess what mom and dad said? We're gonna have another. It feels kind of strange when things start to change. But sometimes it's just that way. But something new might tickle you <laughs> and brighten up your day. Cha-cha, cha-cha, change. Change is the way. See you later, Herbie. Come on, I want to show you two something. <laughs> 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 Change is the ah! way. Yay! Yeah! <laughs> wow. What is this place? Place, place? This is Echo Canyon. Canyon, Canyon. Hello! 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 You can hear things from all over Snowglobia if you listen. That's my mom and dad. They're calling me to come home. <laughs> Sounds like they might be a little worried about you. Yeah, well, maybe. <laughs> Is that my sister? It must be my sister. Sister, sister, sister. <laughs> Sounds like she really misses her big brother. And it sounds like you two might want to go and see her. Kobe, want to meet my new sister? Absolutely. But what about finding an igloo? No thanks. I've got some other changes in mind. 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 Thanks, Edna. 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 <laughs> 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 You're so cute. <laughs> I'm Kobe. <laughs> Your friend's family sure is happy that he's back home. His little sister is so cute. <laughs> hmm. Maybe some changes aren't so bad. Things can change. Feels kind of strange. Sometimes it's just that way. But something new might tickle you and brighten up your day. Cha-cha, cha-cha, change. Change is the way. If monkeys do like something new, then so can you, we say. Cha-cha, cha-cha, change. <laughs> oh. So, Kobe, when exactly are you moving? Tomorrow. Oh, rats! I don't want you to go. I'm actually kind of excited. You are? But we'll never see you again. Sure you will. But you'll be so far away. Oh, no! No, no, no! I'm not moving far away. I'm just moving across the street. Across, across the, the street? street? Yeah. Exactly 22 steps from where I live now. But I'm really gonna miss my bedroom, and my window, and my closet, and my floor, <laughs> and my ceiling, and my doorknob, and where I drew pictures of you guys. Higher! Push harder! 
If I push any harder, my arms will fall off. Sophie, can you help Mia? <laughs> okay. I want to go higher. Tessa, Kobe, can you help push me really high? Sure. Okay. Come on. Here goes. Uh, higher! Uh, We're trying our best. Uh, if you want to go higher, uh, maybe we should go someplace you can swing uh, really high. I know. What about the jungle? I can swing on the vines. And we won't have to push you. Yeah, come on. Let's go. With you in a second, as soon as I can stop swinging. An adventure, and you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first, we sing this song. 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 Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And we're extra so excited. So here we go, adventure home, and everyone's invited. Woohoo! So long, Eddie. I love the jungle. Bye. Have fun. I was born to be in the jungle. You were born in the jungle? Does that mean you're a monkey? No, but I'd like to be. I love all the jungle animals. Monkeys, <clears throat> birds, elephants, <clears throat> and penguins. Penguins? Hi. Hi. I didn't know penguins live in the jungle. Are you a jungle penguin? No, no. I'm not from the jungle, but it always looked like such a fun place. I thought I'd come and see it for myself. You'll love it. Yeah. Well, wait till you meet all the cool animals. We can show you around. Yeah. I know this jungle like my own backyard. Just follow me. Yes. Let's go. It'll be fun. I'm sure the jungle birds are around here somewhere. You've got to meet them. Um, Eddie? Oh, <laughs> yes. He's one of my dearest friends. Bingo! <laughs> Hi. I'm Pickles. Nice to meet you. Hmm. What an interesting bird you are. You are a bird, aren't you? Oh, yes. Definitely. See? Wings, beak, feathers. He's a penguin. Hmm. Charming. He's new to the jungle. New, you say? Well, the best way to see the jungle is from way up in the sky. I suppose we birds can take you for a quick fly around. Well, you see, I don't fly. You don't fly? Who ever heard of a bird who doesn't fly? I can swim, though, underwater. Pretty impressive, huh? Well, swimming's not much use to us, I'm afraid. Why don't you see if they can show you around? Can't fly! Can you believe it? But... Sorry, gotta fly! Bye. Don't worry, Pickles. There are lots of other animals in the jungle besides the flappy birds. Yeah, like the monkeys. They're always in the mood for fun. Come on, I know exactly where they live. They usually hang around here. Um, Eddie? Oh, hi. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. <laughs> oh, thanks. I've never swung on vines before, but let's give it a try. Are you okay? Um, yeah. Thanks, but I don't think my little flippers were made for swinging. Ooh, ah, ah. Oh, thank you. 
What a funny looking fish. You've never seen a banana? No, but it looks delicious. I brought some sardine sandwiches. They're my favorite. Here, see what you think. Well, that was rude. Oh. Don't worry, Pickles. We can look for other jungle friends with you. Yeah, like the elephants. Let me call and see if they're around. <clears throat> They must be out of town. Maybe I can try. Sure, but it's not as easy as it looks. I think they're on their way. <laughs> Come on, Pickles. Why don't you try? Well, okay. <laughs> Maybe I just don't fit in. What do you mean? I'm different from everybody here. There's nothing wrong with being different. Yeah, being different is a really good thing. We just need to remind the animals. Come on! Swing on a vine. Have you seen the monkeys do it? They're swinging all the time. Wait a minute, monkeys. Has anyone heard that you can flap your wings and fly just like a bird? See, nobody does things just like you. That's what makes me me and makes you you. a big sound like an elephant blasting his trunk all around oh, oh my that is difficult see everyone here has something different to say so they're doing their own thing and that's the funnest way see i might not do things just like you but that's what makes me me makes you you makes you you, makes you, you. No, I you can like me, and I can like you. You, you, makes you, you, like you. You, you, makes you, you, like you. You, you, makes you, you, like you. You, you, makes you, you. Yes, you can like me, and I can like you. I must say, I do like the way you walk. Maybe he can show you how. Oh, that would be splendid. You just have to walk around and make sure you give it a bit of a wiggle, like this. <laughs> Why, I feel different already. <laughs> okay, now Lucky and I are going to be Dorothy and Toto, and you three can play the other parts. What are the other parts? Well, Dorothy and Toto go up in a big storm and land in a magical place and meet witches. Yeah, there's a good witch and a bad witch, and I want to play a magical part. I love magic. Um, okay. Then you're the witch, Emma. Oh, I've always wanted to be the good witch, with a beautiful dress and a big crown and... I meant the bad one, the wicked witch of the West. The mean, old, ugly one. Oh, and Tessa, you can be the good witch, Glinda. What about me? Um, I know. You can play the Witch of the East, the one the house falls on. But we really only need to see your feet. I guess they'll do. Okay, is everybody ready? Mia, why do you get to be Dorothy? What do you mean? I mean, why do we all have to play witches and you get to play Dorothy? But I'm not Dorothy. But you said you and Lucky were Dorothy and Toto. That's right. Lucky is Dorothy. I'm Toto. Ruff, ruff. Ooh, 